Hello friends! Is your Windows Vista based PC showing 8007002 error while updating? This can be due to some minor issues. Here's how it can be fixed. First of all, create a system restore point before starting the troubleshooting process. To do so, right click on the computer icon on the desktop and then click Properties. On the System window, click System Protection in the left pane. On the System Properties window, click Create under the System Protection tab. Type the name for the restore point and then click Create. Wait for the process to complete and then click OK. Click OK and then close the system window. Now you can start the troubleshooting process. To stop the Windows Update service, click on the Start button and then click on Control Panel. In the search box, type Administrative Tools and then click Administrative Tools from the search result. Double click on Services. In the User Account Control window, click Continue. Right click on the Windows Update service and then click Stop. Wait for the process to complete and then close all the open windows. To delete temporary update files, click on the Start button and then click on Computer. Open the local hard disk where Windows is installed. Double click the Windows folder and then open the Software Distribution folder. Double click the Data Store folder to open it and then delete all files and folders present in the folder. Click on Yes and then click Continue to confirm. In the User Account Control window, click Continue. Go back to the Software Distribution folder and double-click the Download folder to open it. Delete all files and folders present in the folder. Click on Yes and click Continue to confirm. In the User Account Control window, click Continue, then close the window. To restart the Windows Update service, Click on the Start button and then click on Control Panel. Open the Administrative Tools window again. Double click on Services. In the User Account Control window, click Continue. Right click on the Windows Update service and then click Start. Wait for the process to complete and then close all the open windows. Now you can try to install the Windows updates again. Wasn't that easy? Have a nice day!